Well, at this hour, Broward County is still moving forward with setting that curfew. It believes it has the right to do that because a curfew is applying to everyone instead of singling out a few businesses like bars and restaurants. Now, this is an order that's not coming from the mayor or any city mayor. This is coming from the county administrator. And at this hour, the mayor's told us county attorneys are still going over that order before issuing it likely tomorrow. The Broward County Administrator is considering a curfew over the holidays. It's likely to start Christmas Day until January 4th. Here's a breakdown of the hours, Christmas Day and New Year's Day. The plan is for the curfew to start 1 a.m. on those days until 5 in the morning. The rest of the days, the curfew will be from midnight to 5 a.m. The county and city mayors don't have the authority over a countywide curfew. Again, it's the job of the county administrator. But the mayors still talked about it on a conference call today ahead of the likely order. One night with your family or one night of partying is not worth what can happen to you. You're not only risking your own health, you're risking the health of your family members. County Mayor Steve Geller spoke to us after his conference call with city mayors. This is not similar to the Dade County curfew, which is uh, has been ongoing for several months. Geller says he saw a 20% jump in Broward cases after Thanksgiving. County health leaders say they usually see food or drinking related illnesses after the holidays in emergency rooms. That's not related to coronavirus. This year, county leaders are not only concerned about that, but also COVID-19 cases, but also hospital patients and available ICU beds. And this is our first wave. As you see right now, we're in our second wave and we are very concerned about this. Over today's phone call, mayors discussed enforcement and their concerns about how it'll get done. If it's an individual that is violating the uh, orders, uh, we're not gonna be arresting people, but they will receive civil citations. The current comprehensive order says there's a gathering limit of 10 people outside. And when it comes to inside, there's also a 10 person limit, but that doesn't include the people who live at the household and their kids. And once again, mayors in the city or the county, they don't have any control over this order. However, I was listening to a phone call with the mayors during their conference. The city of Fort Lauderdale mayor said he calls this, quote, draconian. He doesn't believe it works. He actually cited Miami-Dade as his example because he said that's a county where cases are continuing to rise with a curfew. We are live in the city of Fort Lauderdale. I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News.